So this is Wilhelmina back when I first started the van life and I had that lift kit and spacers installed. I had the Falcon tires too and those things wore out so fast but the spacers just seemed to make my steering spongy and just off. That was her before but this is Wilhelmina now. What do you think? Is there a big difference? Let me know what you think in the comments. And here goes the video. We're taking off spacers. <laughs> How y'all doing? Oh, it's that mini van guy. Once again, I am uh, enduring a project. I am taking the spacers off of this van, off of Wilhelmina, because it just seems like maybe it's a little less traction-y, solid. So what I plan to do right now is take the spacers off, which I already have taken one off. There's the spacer here. And that goes typically on there. <coughs> that's hot. And that's the stock version of the drum. I've had the dang spacer on there since I've gotten these brakes done. I went through brakes like crazy. I think it affects the brake performance a little bit not enough to be unsafe but everything i've been hearing about spacers is don't do it it looks great but it doesn't look it doesn't look good enough to sacrifice safety and that's true so with my plan to get back out on the road here soon in the next couple of months i just want to shore up all the little things i've been thinking about so i'm doing the spacers and while i have the spacers off i am painting the wheels real quick just with some glossy black because they look dingy and I have that spare on the back that's all shiny and new I thought I would do it so I'm over here at the wheel off and that's kind of got the little index cards and I'll spray that after I tape off that valve stem we're gonna mask that stem off with this and then uh, get the paint and I don't think that I need to roll the camera all that time but nice and shiny I don't know if you can even see it but I'm just trying to, it's not supposed to be perfect. It's supposed to just look better. Nobody gets close enough to my car to really point out all the dingy dents and spots I missed. Okay, we have the front steering tires on. Painted, as you can see, beautiful. Look at that one, shiny. Now look at the spare. Shiny. And I've got this one on too. Shiny. Nice. That looks good. The spacers are off. The spacers are not on there. The spacers are on this, the rear. You see that? You see where those tires are? Right there. Basically, just about even maybe poking out a little bit. Definitely poking out from the side of the tapered end bumper as you can see. And it used to poke out here to about here, even here too. But now it doesn't. Does it look terrible? I don't think it really looks terrible. I actually think it looks good still. I don't think I miss it that much. But here's the thing. You want my opinion on spacers? I love the look of them. They look good. They make it look that much better. But I just drove it. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I would go without the spacers. Go without spacers. If you need to get the offset wheels, so you have that tire sticking out like I'm thinking about, uh, then do that. Get the offset wheels. Like I would need a 10 plus or something to stick out as far as those spacers did. So I was thinking about even going larger than that. If I get new wheels. I just painted those free, no. Cost me about six bucks in a can of paint. I'm still gonna do the rear. I'm just saying, it's like, facts people. You wanna know about lifts, you wanna know about spacers. I can say definitely that I would go, no spacers, get the lift, just get the bigger tires. These are the 235 70R16s in the Toyo Open Country ATs. Uh, all-terrain so man I don't miss it I think 
the white on the walls disguises the width. I think they're bigger tires. They already look good. Yeah, I'm going with no spacers. Next thing will be do the no spacers. I already know that the traction is better because I, whenever I pull out here before and turn all the way to the hard right to make that sharp turn and go down the hill, uh, it would do some weird thing. It would kind of catch and skip or slip. It didn't do that right now. I made some sharp turns, didn't pop, didn't do anything. So I'm saying don't get spacers. Next thing will be to find out if it affects my gas mileage. It might, because it's fighting to stay strong and firm and on track. And apparently I'm losing traction. So uh, not anymore. These suckers are coming off. I, need, I got two more to do. Probably an hour or more of work. Gonna return that jack and feel really good about the events of the day. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you get some out of it, hit that like and subscribe. We're not done. Thank you. Spacers off of my van. And there they are. Anybody want to buy them? You know the risks. You know the benefits. If you want them, tell me in the uh, in the comments. They're all still good. Nothing wrong with them. It's a personal choice. I took them off, and here you go. I don't know if you can tell the difference. I think it still looks great. And I would have not got them had I known those tires would have just been fine by themselves. Yep, they tuck in a little bit in the wheel well, but it's normal. And it looks good still, right? So the crisis was, the crisis averted, was this. When I was jacking up the rear, the very last wheel, um, I got it up in the air, had the wheel halfway unscrewed, just so I can loosen them all off when I got it up in the air and the wheel of the flipping jack came off and it landed flat on the ground. So I just kept going. I felt like I, I jacked it up a little bit more and it, it was stable from what I felt. So I painted the wheel, dried the wheel, take off the spacer and proceeded to put it back on. And as hurry as I could, it lasted. And then when I took it off, it was fine. So the other thing I found I don't know, man, that really looks good. I am stoked. What do you think? Let me know in the comments how it looks because it is different. The wheel's going a little further, but I don't know, it seems like good and new. It, I like it. It looks great. It still looks great. I feel like it's safer. And um, now I gotta redo uh, the black and also Look at this. There's a slap slice in my tire. I'm gonna have to have that tire replaced. And I have a warranty on the tires, which um, cover one tire in its entirety replacement so that I can, uh, if I had an accident, you know, that's what it's for. Um, those kind of accidents. So seeing that I'm due for new tires, I will probably use the best tire on Wilhelmina for the spare. Whatever white is showing up the best really in the tread. Um, and then I will order two new tires on top of the one new free one that I get with the warranty. So I only have to pay for two new tires. Isn't that awesome? I'm very stoked. I'm going to go drive her and find out if she's, how she feels all together. All right, so a little adjusting of the tires while I back out. Since it was up in the air, everything got twisty. I'm going to take her for a little spin down the road. See that right there? I always go in with skip. It feels like it's tighter, man. Like seriously. Wow. That's a big difference, big difference. So there you go. I'm pretty sure from all the comments that people have um, le left on my videos that after watching this video, you will not want spacers. But if you want spacers, I have the 2008 Toyota Sienna LE. These spacers will fit your OEM hubs drums if you want them let me know i'll give you a deal 
other than that, I'll probably just put them up on uh, Craigslist or something and try to get rid of them. Wow, I'm serious. I'm not joking at all. The van feels salt, more solid. It really does. Before, it just felt like something was giving just a little bit. And it might have been user error when I had the tires, uh, you know, put on new rims, rotator or whatever. I would say uh, that the technicians sometimes maybe didn't tighten it down enough. This really feels good, I'm telling you right now. This is the way it should be. They don't put spacers on your wheels when you buy a car. For a good reason. But yes, that, my friends, is awesome. Wow. Kind of stoked, I gotta be honest. <laughs>